this is debasis mistra today we will discuss frequently asked interview questions based on norton's theorem here is the first question the norton current is what type of current here is the options short circuit current open circuit current open circuit and short circuit current neither open circuit nor short circuit current what is the answer answer is the short circuit current second question how norton resistance is found what are the options shorting all voltage sources opening all current sources shorting all voltage sources and opening all current sources opening all voltage sources and shorting all current sources so what will be your answer answer c shorting all voltage sources and opening all current sources because whenever we have discussed in thevenin's theorem when you are calculating the rts in that particular case you also shorting the all voltage source and opening the all current source here also when you are calculating norton resistance you have to short the all voltage source and open the all current source so answer c is the correct answer norton theorem is true for what linear network non linear network both linear network and non linear network neither linear network nor linear network so answer a linear network in norton's theorem isc is sum of two current sources a single current source infinite current source zero here is the note norton's theorem states that a combination of voltage sources current sources and resistors is equivalent to a single current source and a single parallel resistor so what will be your answer a single current source so answer b is the correct answer isc is found across the what terminal of the network input output neither input nor output either input or output so b is the correct answer output can norton theorem used on a circuit containing a bjd bipolar junction transistor so no because bjd is a non linear device and norton theorem is applicable for linear devices as it is a non linear device so it cannot be used so answer will be b no what will be the norton resistance for the following circuit if 5 ohm is the load resistance this is the 5 ohm what we have to calculate we have to calculate the norton resistance then what will you do we have to short the 10 volt open the 1 ohm then what will be the result you see these are the options note 3 and 6 will be parallel and 10 will be series with this because this is short circuit this is open circuit and as we are calculating across this so it will be open so 10 6 will be parallel sorry 3 6 will be parallel with series with 10 ohm so 3 6 parallel means 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 so 18 by 9 is 2 plus 10 it is 12 ohm so answer c is the correct answer application of norton's theorem to a circuit yields equivalent current source and impedance in series equivalent current source and impedance in parallel equivalent impedance equivalent current source what is the answer answer b is the correct answer equivalent current source and impedance in parallel remember the difference in or in the thevenin's theorem a voltage source and a series resistance and in a norton's theorem a current source with a parallel resistance this is the difference only between the thevenin's and norton's theorem norton's equivalent resistance is what as the thevenin's equivalent resistance not same same both a and b none of the same because in which process we are calculating the rts in case of thevenin's theorem in the same process we are calculating the equivalent resistance in case of norton theorem means how we are shorting the voltage sources and opening the current sources 
you are calculating the RTH. So, process will be same. B is the correct answer. Which of the following is also known as the dual of the Norton's theorem? Simple, Febrin's theorem. So, thank you students. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.